to a lab to be tested. We also record the weight of the milk that each doe gives. We have to record two milkings, once in the morning and once in the evening, and that's it. Why do we do milk tests? Well, at Plum Bush Farm, we do it because it helps us to know which does and bucks we would like to retain in our herd, which ones have superior genetics that we would like to uh, continue on improving. Another benefit is just for record keeping. It gives us a publicly available data supply that we can show to people and anyone can look this up to see how our does have produced. And that's something, if you're thinking about getting into Nigerian dwarfs and you care about milk production, you may want to look at the pedigrees of some of the does that you're thinking about buying and the bucks as well and see if any of the goats on their pedigree have been on milk test. Because if they have been, then you'll have some verified information on their uh, production. I'm going to put links in the video description of the three does that you see us milk today. And if you want to check them out, you can see how much they produce and how, how well they hold their lactation. Butterscotch is exceptional, for our herd at least. So those are some of our reasons for doing milk tests. We feel that it helps us to build the milk genetics in our herd and improve our overall herd and milk quality. All right, enough said, let's get into the video. Good morning, YouTube. It is milk test day on the farm. All right, we have the first goat milked, and this is Eliza Jane. And so the first yeah, thing to do is get a weight. Oh, it's on kilograms. Let's see, I think that's this button. Okay, 1.5 pounds. 1.5 pounds, of course we had to zero out the scale before dumping that milk in. One thing about milk test is you do have to have a certified scale which you can buy a little scale like this and send it off to be certified. To your, to your labs. Well, you can actually find other places that will certify the scale. Now I'm just going to pour it back and forth to make sure all the butter fat is mixed in evenly. Okay. Because we're sending a test of this, a small sample of this off, we want to have the milk mixed good so that the test is accurate. On the paperwork, every dough has a number. And so this we'll dough is going to be Lizzie. Lizzie. Eliza Jane, she's number nine. And she's number nine, so we find the number nine. Number nine container. is just last year when I got on milk test, they had me assign a number to each dough. And so that's just the one I assigned for Eliza Jane. I kind of did it by pecking order back then. I think I put too much in there. Because I need half for tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, for tonight. I'm going to dump a tiny bit off the top, quick. And that has a preservative in the bottom. Pour that. Very good. Now I will write 1.5. I should done this right away. First milking right here. 1.5. All right. Now we have that recorded. And that's the morning's milking. In the evening, the process will be just the same, but we will add milk to the same uh, little plastic vial. Rest of the milk goes in there to be filtered. All right, butterscotch is coming in to be milked. Slip 
that over to hold her head in. You know, Mommy will do all the milking today because it's milk test day. So, you don't have to be certified to do the milking on milk test day. However, technically, I'm not certified to fill out this paperwork because I haven't gone through and done the little online test that you have to do or taken the little online course. So the first thing to do with milking is to wash the udder, which we just use warm soap and water. The and okay. I'll choose some. Um, after washing, then we give a few squirts to the cats in case if there would be any bacteria in there. Okay. This is a pail of milk from Butterscotch. Jenny just got done milking her. Gonna tear out the scale and dump it in and see what we've got. The little girls must need some help. All right, what's the scale say? 2.45. 2.45, I can't see it on the video. That's pretty good. Hey, it's Mocha's turn on the stand. What can you tell us about her? Well, Mocha is a very special doe. She is Butterscotch's half-sister. We talk about Butterscotch a lot. But Mocha is a stinker. She doesn't like to be told what to do. And when she was young, she jumped fences. And she... That kid is so upset. She doesn't like to be good on the stand. But nevertheless, she's special. And when she was one year old, she had twins, her first set of kids. And we had a dog who jumped the bottom door of the barn and got in here and attacked her and beat her up really bad. Her front, front left leg and her ear is half missing. But her kids hid under the feeder and she kind of kept the dog off, but anyway, it was not good. We got rid of the dog, by the way. But she recovered. Her foot didn't fully heal anyway. She lost her foot, but she's doing good still. She's had four sets of kids, and she's going to retire. No more kids for her. But we got her on milk test. So her milk is testing really well. She has high butter fat. 7% last time, and that's something milk test does for me that I really like, is the seeing what butter fat and protein they have. And then, yeah, she's just a pretty good milker, and I like her even though she's naughty. But yeah, another thing about milk test is that I can see numbers like butter fat. There's also another number the lab runs, which is MUN. It stands for milk, urea, nitrogen. And it, if the number is too high, it could indicate too much protein in their diet or not a good balance. And that's something that helped me this past win this winter. They had really rich alfalfa, and their MUN went way up to 50, which is not good. I could tell like how it's even the smell around the feeder, I could, I could smell that something was off in their diet, and they had, yeah, it was just, so the number told me, so I reduced their protein a little by adding grass hay, and that number's back down, it was 28 last test, so it went from 49 to 28 in a month, just by fixing their diet, oh, we did something else too, we put, we got lower protein feed, and we reduced their protein in their feed. And we did that by adding soybean pellet. Soybean pellet. pellet. Yeah. And a little bit of corn. But the milk did not taste off. No, the milk didn't test. taste off. So it was fun to see the numbers. And I could be able to fix it. Good girl. Thank you.